are back baby welcome back to the channel welcome back to yet another video it's been a while since i've seen you guys because i didn't record anything and i didn't have anything to post so welcome back to the channel welcome back to yet another video as i said uh good to see you guys really good to see you guys after a while today finally we are finally going to talk about this car because i've been promising you guys about a walk around video for a while and now it has been five months or six months i'm not sure i'm gonna write it down of owning this vehicle i'm uh, finally gonna give you guys a walk around video so let's hop in the car first we're gonna go meet up with fat dog go to katie's cars and coffee because it's been a while and then we're gonna go wash the car and after that we're gonna do the walk around video well it's really good to finally pick the camera up and record i'm really excited for this video because it's been a while and i think i'm a little rusty We'll see, we'll see. Time will tell. For starters, since five months ago that I bought the car, I put 10,000 miles on it. 10,000 miles in five months. So if we go another seven months, yeah, I'm gonna be putting so many miles on this thing. But 10,000 miles so far, so freaking good. I'm loving this vehicle. I am loving this vehicle. This is just absolutely amazing. I'm um, gonna go because Fab is waiting for me and I am late again and I hate being late and I'm always late so let's go I got good news I thought I was late but I'm actually not late he's in front of me hey I was actually in front of him now he's in front of me so I wasn't late that's good yeah let's go get coffee because I need that morning coffee it's always as always good morning sir <laughs> I haven't seen someone. you for a while. When was it the last time you saw my camera? It's been a while, right? Two months. Two months. Yeah. Just two months. Uh, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. It's been two months, and it's pretty cold. I have like four layers of clothing, but still cold. It's still still freezing cold. We call it breezy. <laughs> okay. Okay. I get it. It's just breezy. <laughs> my nose is gonna be red in like two minutes. I have a feeling that I'm gonna have mucus coming out of my nostrils. Like, that's the breeze pink. <laughs> that's the breeze. What? Breeze pink. Breeze pink? Yeah. You got a red eye. You that's pink. <laughs> you got a big oh. nose. <laughs> oh my, that's my god. That's my Would you look at that? 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 Would you look down? at that too? That's cool, but that. The, but that. The oh, course, not the Zubru. my. Not the Zubru. What is it? It's a Turbo S, the isn't it? It's a 991.2 Turbo S. That thing is just beautiful. How did you know that from here? Well, I know my Porsches now. I've done my research because soon we're gonna do a Porsche on the channel. Who knows? Maybe soon. Maybe sooner than you think. Good morning, sir. Aren't you cold? Huh? I was just complaining that I'm cold and you're not cold at all. No, I'm fine. Wow. Like this and just one layer. <laughs> and how do you do it? Alien. Oh, okay. Alien, like, he has the hat and I don't have the hat. Maybe yep. that's why. That's fixed. That makes it. Yep. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for the coffee, bro. Oh, let me just yeah. do that. Oh, damn, bro. You did it. You did it. Yay. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> bro. <laughs> why would you do that? Hello. Hi. Haven't seen you for a while. The new DRZ doesn't look that bad. Well, that's it for cars and coffee. Gonna go wash the car, I believe, next and then uh, do the walk around that I promised you guys. Uh, here we're gonna say bye to for Fat Dot. I keep butchering I guess, your name. I, guess, I don't know why I butcher your name. I guess I'll see. Because you, you always say for Dot, like if it's that who's no, far it's away. Far Dot or Fat Dot. So it's fired up, guys. It's fired up. Go link him down in the description. Go give him a follow on Instagram. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you get a link, bro. Good seeing you. I appreciate you. See you soon. Drive safe. I'll see you tomorrow. You too. Next car meet. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, we do car meets all the time. Well, yesterday did not go as I planned it to go. I wanted to go wash the car and then go and talk about, I mean, do a walk around. However, I got home and I kind of fell asleep and. <laughs> Uh, next thing you know, I'm waking up at 4.30 in the afternoon and sun goes on at 4.47 So I lost the light and I could not uh, Get to do what I wanted to do. However today 
We came to another Cars and Coffee. Uh, as always, Saturdays and Sundays are for Cars and Coffees. And after this, we're gonna go to another Cars and Coffee. It's gonna be me and Kia. Now it's Fado, me and Kia. But then after that, I promise you guys, I'm gonna do the walk around. Uh, I'm not gonna show you too much of the cars here because you already seen the cars yesterday. It's just gonna be too much of the cars and coffee. And this video is about the walk around. Oh, there's yeah. a look at that. That's beautiful. Anyway, uh, just gonna go see the highlights, like yeah. that car right there. But then after that, I'm just gonna go and do the walk around. Coffee secured. Oh, look at that. We got a little dining table right here. It's a carbon fiber dining table. Cars on fire. Cars on fire. Cops on fire. Cops on fire. Cops on fire. I'm freaking dead, but got coffee. I'm happy. Cars on flyers. Ooh, it's hot. I'll we'll show you guys the highlights. This is the SLC Super Light car with the LS7 in it. It's pretty cool. Manual transmission. It's pretty dope. We are on our way to the next Cars and Coffee in Maryland, which is like 30 minutes drive from now. And I'm following Kia with his beautiful, beautiful GTI. And yeah, it's gonna be 30 minutes of drive. Uh, and then uh, probably, hopefully, I mean, hopefully, fingers crossed, we're gonna see some good cars there. But let me tell you guys a little bit about the five months of the ownership. I've done um, three to four major road trips. And as I said yesterday, I put 10,000 miles on the car in the past five months and it has been nothing but just amazingness because this car is so comfortable and the only problem that i have with it is the gas mileage i average between 15 to 16.5 miles per gallon which kind of is a little bit a problem because i have to with the amount of driving that i do i have to uh fill up almost every week and um with the gas prices right now it has been a little bit of a problem which uh, i used to not put that much gas in the challenger but now i have to at least put gas in this thing once a week at least once a week sometimes it's once every one and a half week and sometimes one and a half times a week <laughs> So we just made it to a lot of cars and coffee. This is the first time I'm coming out here. They've been having this cars and coffee for a while now. I missed once, I missed it, where there was a Pagani. Yes guys, there was a Pagani here and I missed it because I was in California. But I was like, let me give it a shot today and go up to see how it is. <laughs> Brazzers? Nice. That's a carbon fiber dick lid too. Isn't this gorgeous? Sheesh, damn that looks good. That was super good. Did you get lost, buddy? Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? Fantastic. How are you? Pretty good. Good, good to see you, brother. Sheesh. Wow. That's why I say she wow. <laughs> a silver 996. I don't know when, but soon. Really soon. That's the dream car right there. That's when you have to say wow. I freaking love this tour right here. We got a Viper and then we got a Ford GT. These two red cars with white striping just looks absolutely insane. As some people say, immaculate looking cars. Wow. A V10 and a V8. Supercharged and naturally aspirated. They look pretty good together. They look freaking good together. Wow. So I finally made it out here before I lose the light again to talk about this vehicle right here well guys if it's your first time here this is a 2005 lexus gx470 that i picked up five months ago i sold my dodge challenger and i picked this up i know you guys might say why would you do that i understand because i am trying to make this car a little overlander with bigger tires bigger wheels a roof rack hopefully hopefully a rooftop tent and also 
maybe raised suspension because I'm not trying to build an off-roader like a crazy off-roader just a mild overlander because the goal is that I buy myself a Porsche for my birthday which is coming in five months so we'll see fingers crossed that happens but for now let's talk about let's go right there as I said it's a 2005 Lexus GX470 with a V8 in it 4.7 liter 270 horsepower it has 330 pound-feet of torque at 3400 rpm this thing has a lot of freaking torque it does come with all the features and all the luxury things that came back in 2005 and also airlift suspension in the back yes you heard me right it has the air suspension in the back this is a normal height this is when it's raised all the way up and that's the lowest height gx platform has proven to be one of the greatest off-roaders just being a stock car it has a all-time four-wheel drive system which is always four-wheel drive four-wheel drive on demand you cannot change it to only two-wheel drive or um, four-wheel drive at different times but there's an option to choose between a high gearing and low gearing also a center diff like as well as a dac which is called uh downhill assist control or down assist control which kind of breaks by itself you don't have to apply any pressure any brakes uh, when you descending from a hill which is a hill descent assist different than different cars but this thing has it from the factory it's pretty insane more off-road goodness it has a great great approach angle an amazing departure angle i've taken this thing through some uh, terrains here and there a few times and absolutely crazy how this thing can handle uh, little hills or little bumps or um, past the creek a few weeks ago no problem at all other things that I love is the space in the back here it's amazing I love how this thing opens up and the amount of the space in the trunk is absolutely crazy too and with that out of the way that's pretty much it for this video i know i haven't posted anything on youtube for a month and a month and a half but uh this is the beginning i told you guys i'm gonna post a video about this car and then next video is gonna be about the new macbook that i got i finally switched from windows to macbook i'm really excited to share it with you guys my experience and how better it is from a windows computer and how fast it is like it's insanely fast like I can't even tell you guys. So definitely be on the lookout for that video that's coming out hopefully next week. And also let me know what you guys think about the beard. Should I keep growing it? Should I cut it? Should I shave it? What do you guys think I should do? Because at this point I'm just growing it to see how long I can get it to go. Yeah, it's almost end of the year. Hope you all have a great year. A really productive and awesome year. And 2022 guys, let's let's kill it in 2022. Great things about to happen. I, I have this feeling that great things gonna happen. A lot of more videos, a lot of more content, and a lot of goodness coming out in 2022. Well, with that all being said, again, thank you guys a lot for watching. As always, I haven't said this for so long. As always, all this is amazing. And see you guys in the next one. Sometimes one, sometimes two. <laughs> sometimes it's good, sometimes it's shit. Sometimes it's bullshit. <laughs>